The beta for the next version of Android which is Camera 11 is available for Pixel phone starting today No a bunch of Android 11 has already leaked of course because Google but it's official now so want to get into what the new features are overall my take is that Android is a mature operating system which means that the fundamentals are really not going to change that much there are a few new important features but the context here is that Android already does a lot and so a lot of the features aren't necessarily about doing new things but helping you make sense of all the things that Android already does one of the biggest jobs in a mature operating system has is managing complexity so here's a question how well does Android 11 manage all of the things that Android does so to start every version of Android messes with notifications I'm actually not complaining about this because notifications are huge source of complexity and I much prefer the year-over-year -year changes that Google tries to make with Android, to improve it the way that Apple does things of the iPhone which is to almost never change anything about notifications seat notifications went for a way for you to see your text messages into this nightmare catch all of everything news and media controls and thirsty apps try to get you re-engaged with their content and alerts that apps are using your background location and is just a lot so in Android 11 Google is separating out notifications into three really clear and distinct sections of big obvious labels there are conversations alerting notifications and silent notifications and the new section here is conversations which separates out the notifications from your chat taps into their own section at the top and that lets you do a bunch of things with those notifications the first things you can bubble those notifications which turns them into these like bubble chat had to sit on the top of other apps you might have seen it in apps like Facebook Messenger where there's his head floating around but were you watch you tap on it and it opens up the conversation that's now going to become available to any chat app on android and by default it's just a show like the whole chap it's a little window but developers can customize it for if they want the other thing that conversation what you do is you can long press on the menu can mark a person's conversation inside chat app as priority and what that means is there to build a breakthrough year to not disturb settings and also when you look at your little notification tray at the top of your screen you can see their face and synergistic icon for the there are few other new things notification so you can more easily control where silent notifications show up you can keep them for showing up in your status bar under lock screen you can easily switch an app from alerting notification to silent notification by long pressing on it bring up some options if you want you having a conversation so you get only for the developer to update it to support that Google also took what you see really weird hacky thing and they made it official you can go in your settings and find your notification history so in case you absently dismiss notification you can go to settings and find it again you also get a few more controls over how do not disturb works it lets you customize which apps are able to break through do not disturb in addition to those priority conversations so there is one other thing to talk about with notifications used to have media playback control in your notification shade and Google is now moving that up into the quick setting so it's sort of part of the notification shade asserted that anyway it's up there at the top now and when you expand it down this could be a little button that you can press on the present he will let you choose where your audio goes bluetooth headphones or speaker wherever plus notifications the next interaction zone that was beefed up for android 11 is the power but something that you get when you long press the power sleep wake button thing it has usual power options like before emergency power off restart there is locked down but unfortunately it's hidden under a three dot menu underneath that are your google wallet passes so you bank cards in your boarding passes if you're playing again that's something we've seen before what's new is that google is putting smart home control buttons underneath that here so it's sort of like what the iphone does with home controls natural sound Center, but on Android it's in this power menu you can customize what one shot just tap on stuff to turn lights on and off you can drag your finger to change brightness you can also just long press to go in and see more options and so on this section is powered by the Google home and that's good because it's one less thing that you have to set up but it does mean that I think that different companies are doing different things with this power menu so you may Samsung phone out expectancy Samsung pay and Samsung smart home controls in this section that's 
notifications and power there is a couple other zones to talk about there is the home screen and one of the things you can do here is replace your dock with suggested apps from android to contextual guesses what you cannot open next and i had and i don't really love it these guesses at what happened on open usually are really that accurate there's also the multitasking screen or you might call the recent screen and there's three new buttons on the bottom here so if you screenshot a full screenshot of the applets frontmost and multitasking you tap select and it will show you what text is selectable to direct the copy in your clipboard or you can tap shared will grab a screenshot of that frontmost app and bring up the share sheet automatically speaking of screenshots when you take on it no longer goes into notifications it creates little interface down the lower left hand corner we can tap share or edit it's just like the way that the iPhone is so those are the major zones notifications power menu home screen and the new recent screen and all who are the designed to help you make sense of all the features that Android is now throwing at you and I met all theory about how it relates to iOS and the iPad desktops and it's all too much of this video we have a lot more features of an Ripple event to go through so let's keep going till location permissions are getting stricter in Android 11 from now on apps can only ask for three different kinds one time while the app is open or just straight up tonight that one time thing is new and it's something that the iPhone already has enough an app really really wants constant background permission needs to send you deep in the android settings where you turn on permit access there also if you hit the night a couple of times on the app asks you for location permission and it will just tell the app to stop asking you and it won't do it again i could see what swell we see a bunch of stuff in the betas are hopefully going to stick around but there's no guarantee so talking about screen recording it's here the beta it was in the beta last year they yanked it but i hope it sticks around this year we've also seen evidence of native scrolling screenshots which can let you grab the entire web page you should know the pin apps to the share sheets so that you don't have to depend on Google's directions used in the thing you actually want to share to airplane mode won't save a Bluetooth you don't want to still picture in picture but I can resize the video dark mode has better scheduling options there's more icon styles for pixels thinking google has a single project mainline that lets them update system level components that updating the entire operating system and there's 12 more modules are getting added that shibor is getting so updates for all android phones and got more and moji kitchen fun little options and is getting auto fill is just a lot of little things such are they never 11 releases all the stuff i can think to talk about if you just look at the bullet list of all those features you'll see that's a lot of filling out the corners and adding new little bits here and there but like i said i think that android is a mature operating system so that makes sense beyond those new features that whatever love is really about is making the stuff that you actually want to do a little bit easier to find so say on a text with somebody that's important to you their face might be right there in your status bar are they texted you or their face might be in a bubble that's floating over the apps are using right now to get to right away smart light controls finally are buried inside the google home at the right there in the power menu and power menu zone it sort of makes sense to me google says it's like your keys in your wallet it's the stuff that you put in your pocket to interact with the physical world i guess that's why that stuff isn't quick settings and i could go on but the point is that those little decisions of what goes where and why that's the subtle stuff that ultimately makes a phone feel either intuitive or confusing and there still is some confusing stuff here i think settings android is getting a little bit out of control but i can see where google is trying to go to the topic of pixel you can sell the beta on your phone right now it's also coming to a few other android phones this summer so keep an eye out for news about that but i wouldn't put it on your main phone because if the beta is still a little bit rough around the edges but you I would answer the question right did Google get to where it's trying to go does and 11 makes sense is it intuitive well I'm gonna wait until the final release of the software in the fall because right now is still beta and they're Google and they could totally move stuff around but I do know that when I review it I'm going to be reviewing it on of pixel because the pixels going to get Android 11 first in every other interphone is going to get it who knows when Google made some progress in the inner ecosystem of making those updates happen but it's still not where it needs to be so while I'm reserving judgment on whether or not Android 11 makes sense I definitely think that knowing whether or not your phone is going to get it is still way too confusing no you recorded the entire last half of this video that check to see if it was actually recording but please subscribe like the video or comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out